Hi, Phil Boyer here, and I'm standing in front of my solar electric boat that I built called Soul Canada. Uh, this boat has been a great little boat, and I've gone on some amazing adventures uh, with it, but its design is limited, and uh, the main issue is it's a mono hull design, and uh, so the hull speed is the limiting factor at about uh, a little over 10 kilometers per hour. So you could get to where you want to go, but you're going at a slow pace. Um, the other issue is uh, with the solar panels on top and a hard top canopy, that adds a significant amount of weight uh, at the top, probably about 80 pounds, and uh, making the entire boat, the stability of it, uh, a little on the tippy side, you have to be uh, a little bit careful. So that's another issue. Um, third issue is it is a little cramped inside. It was never designed as uh, uh, for camping and and even though that's what I have used it for, the seats all fold down and then the uh, canopy around the uh, or the uh, tarp around the canopy all rolls down and encloses the boat and I could uh, sleep quite comfortably uh, you know however there's no head uh, the setup for sleeping at night uh, does take some time and then in the morning you have to reverse everything so um, it would really be nice to have a new boat that addresses all these uh, issues um, another issue with this design is uh, it's, it has a rudder and uh, as anybody with a rudder knows uh, that it's extremely difficult to maneuver uh, especially in reverse um, that does cause you problems. So based on uh, all the issues I also saw when I was on my trips and, and, and one of the big issues uh, just because of the design here was any waves coming from behind uh, it would cause me basically to surf the waves and I'd lose steering control with the rudder. Um, a lot of boats going by with large wakes were a real issue and uh, that would just throw me uh, to the side wildly and a uh, uh, bit, bit of a problem there. Uh, so anyways, I I came up with a plan for a new design, a new boat, uh, which will be a catamaran, 18-foot catamaran. And I'm going to base the design on uh, an existing design, and I'll actually get, I actually have already bought the plans from K Designs uh, out of Europe. Um, I will build their boat like they have specified it, uh, at least up to the deck. And from the deck on up, I'm changing things dramatically. I'm going to use a, a wood strip process, uh, and then of course have a similar type canopy on it with uh, more solar panels. So anyways, um, the plan is to, for this video series, is to show you what I'm doing uh, to build my new boat. This will not be a step-by-step here's how you build a boat uh, project. It's just going to show you what I am doing. I'll try and highlight uh, any design issues I come up against and how I resolve them. And also uh, if I'm cutting corners on the design or whatever, whatever uh, design changes I make, I will uh, try and tell you after whether it was a good idea or not. <laughs> so. Um, my new boat also, I plan to have uh, a 20 horsepower electric motor on the back. Uh, so that will give me uh, more speed if I want it. It'll give me more stability. And uh, also it'll have a head and a little kitchen and uh, be in, in clothes for, uh, for sleeping quarters. So it'll have all the creature comforts. 
So in my search for a catamaran design, I came across this article in Small Boats magazine. Uh, it was a build article by Ron Mueller. He built this catamaran by K Designs. It's called uh, Echo Power Cat 5.5. And I just love the uh, design features of it. And reading the article, the performance that uh, it provided looked to meet my needs. It was a semi-planing hull. Um, you could put a 20 horsepower motor on it if you wanted to and uh, that would take it up to uh, uh, speeds of 15 knots or about 27 kilometers per hour. Uh, it would cruise at about 10 knots which is 18 kilometers an hour so I really liked it and so I contacted K Design and uh, bought the set of plans and uh, also joined their online forum which is a support uh, group it supplies as well as any online support you needed uh, you could get it from anybody on that uh, forum but for my boat uh, I had a, my own set of design requirements I wanted to have one deck level throughout a collapsible canopy so it was easy for transporting wood strip walls and bow uh, using red cedar and basswood using I uh, want to use inlays wanted to have a head a kitchenette access to hulls for storage I also wanted to be able to enclose the entire boat uh, for camping and I'd like to use a wood framed window style uh, similar to a bimini uh, but this would be out of wood So some of the design challenges that I had were to redesign the bulkheads for single level deck and to also incorporate the uh, support mechanisms for the railing system. Um, also to design a collapsible canopy, uh, reinforce storage area and have a tall enough bathroom enclosure and because I, I was going to have a collapsible uh, canopy that would be an issue. Other things I needed to do were to design the window enclosures, fold out sleeping areas, battery storage areas, and steering wheel and instrumentation location. Uh, so I had lots of challenges ahead and uh, I figured I'd just um, take them on one step at a time.